Um, you have been very complimentary about Valentino and he has been very complimentary about you. But when we think about Valentino and you, we cannot ignore the incident with the ambition. And I wanted to know, looking back at it now, how do you feel about what happened that day and what you said and how it, it's still here since then? Um, no, the incident in Jerez um, with Valentino, I mean, I'd probably handle it the same uh, now as I did then. Um, you know, as you know, we had a big rivalry for many years before that. And um, it had all got, you know, prickly and all those sort of things. But, you know, I think at the end of that day, I'd already forgotten about that. You know, I was thinking about my championship. Uh, and quite honestly, we were, you know, we were pretty sure Valentino wasn't going to be a part of that championship that year. Um, so, you know, we, we had other things to worry about. We had, um, in particular, Jorge to write about, who'd just come off a championship, is extremely consistent. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I'd, um, I'd handle it any different, you know, because we'd be in the same situation. We still would have been, you know, extremely uh, heavy rivals. And, um, and it was a fantastic rivalry, whether good or bad, from perspective as well. And it wasn't long after I, I finished my career that there was very little to no, um, you know, any, any resentment or anything like that towards Valentino. I've always had a huge amount of respect. Um, you can't have, you can't race at the top with these guys and not have respect for them and what they do and what they've achieved. There's, there's no doubting that. So. Um, yeah, to be honest, um, there's been nothing between us for many, many years, but, uh, you know, certainly enjoyed our rival. We had some fantastic races, um, some difficult ones, but, uh, you know, we always learn from those.